Hello everyone, my name is Evo and welcome to Cooking with the Koyas. As you know, I love sharing my recipes with you and I enjoy it more when you make them. And I really hope you give this recipe a try because today folks, we're going to make what I'm going to call my Italian version of how to cook fish. And this folks, if you have bacala, this is my number one go-to recipe for bacala. However, you could use any fish you like. But if you have bacala, make sure you use this recipe right here. Today I'm going to use a freshwater walleye just to show that you could use this recipe not only for bacala but for any fish. Salmon, halibut, cod, take your pick. It's just a great simple recipe, simple ingredients, comes together quickly. In fact, let's take a look at those ingredients right now. As for fish, you want between a pound and a pound and a half. That's 454 to 680 grams, anywhere in that area. And I've cut this, uh, this fish up into nice bite-sized chunks. Then I went with 12 cherry tomatoes and I cut them in half. Uh, I have one small, I'm going to say medium-sized onion that I've sliced and diced. It's about one cup total. Uh, then I took two cloves of garlic and I just sliced them and minced them, so I have two cloves of fresh uh, garlic there. I took two sprigs of basil and uh, I chopped it up and that's about a quarter cup of basil. I did the same thing with some fresh parsley and that's about a quarter cup of fresh chopped parsley. And here, folks, I have half a cup of green olives. These are pitted olives. Uh, they're actually really good ones. They're from Calabria. Uh, they're going to be delicious. In fact, it's a half a cup less one olive. Well, I went and did a taste test on, on the olives, <laughs> so it's missing one. Uh, and then I have a teaspoon of oregano. Uh, we're going to use five to six tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And then optional is a hot pepper or a chili pepper and also about a tablespoon of capers, which I'm not going to use today, but both of those are optional. Let's make our way to the stove. Okay, let's fire up our stove. We're going to go on medium heat, and this, folks, this recipe is really, really easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, good tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. So basically we're going to put all the ingredients in the frying pan except for the fish. Okay, so we're going to add our, there it goes, let's put our minced garlic in. That goes in. Oh, a little more there. Let's get that all out. It's a beautiful, delicious flavor. Uh, the chili pepper. I'm going to break it in half, remove the stem, put that in. Now we're going to add our onion. In goes the onion. And then we got our parsley and our basil. They go in. Our olives. In they go. Then our cherry tomatoes along with our basil. Now the one ingredient we forgot to mention was salt because at the end of the day it's going to be salt to taste and in fact I'm going to add a little bit of salt to our let's call this our base our base mixture. I'm going to add a little bit of salt to that and then of course I'm going to add a little bit of salt to the fish. Now if you're cooking bacala you don't need to do that because it's already a little bit salty. And again, I highly, highly recommend you using this recipe for bacala. And if you haven't seen my how to prepare bacala recipe, I'll put a link in the description for you. Because if you've never had it, you really got to give it a try. But, but today, folks, we're going to be cooking freshwater walleye. And it's going to be amazing. Because this recipe, these ingredients, the combination thereof, really make this fantastic. Okay, so now, quite simply, uh, I'm going to add a little bit of salt and we're going to let this simmer for anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. Oh yeah, it's been a few minutes and it's nice every, every two minutes or so just give our beautiful base mixture 
a little toss. Let all those ingredients incorporate together. Look at that. It's looking good. Okay. We're going to let this continue cooking. It's only been a few minutes. And as it's cooking, feel free to just push down and squish those cherry tomatoes, releasing even more flavor. So our 10 minutes are up. That is looking so good. Okay. So now we have our fish right here and what I've done, I've just salted the fish, no other seasonings, just salt, it's very very plain. You don't need anything else, all the flavor is right there. So let's add our beautiful fish, nestle them in there really really nicely. These are nice thick chunks, I love that. And then these ones, a little bit thinner. It looks like bakala, doesn't it? Okay. And one last piece. They're going to all fit in here really, really nice. So, now, same thing. Lid on. And we're going to continue to cook this on medium heat. Now, depending on the thickness of your fish, let's go about uh, three minutes and check up on it. So it's been our three minutes and look at that, the fish is almost cooked. So we're going to give it a turn. It's not going to take much longer because we're cooking this with the lid on. So it's cooking a little bit quicker, which is what we want. Oh, look at there. Now, let me get a spoon. You want to spoon some of this on top of our fish. That's not too, too bad. Okay, so we're only going to give this a couple more minutes. As you can see, when it starts to get white and flaky, it's, uh, it's basically done. So, definitely before those two minutes are up, this is going to be 100% cooked. And it's looking amazing. In another two minutes, that folks is done. As you can see, it's all white and starting to flake. So we cooked that on medium heat. Total cook time for this fish was about five minutes. And now we're gonna get it plated. And again, depending on the thickness of your fish, and like I said, I did cook this on uh, medium heat. And you do not want to overcook fish. Look at this, folks. Oh, we're not done yet. Don't you worry, we're not done yet. All this flavor, you know where that's going. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy, am I looking forward to this. Oh yes, the flavors, the combination of these ingredients and the flavors with this fish is unbelievable. Look at that. Oh, am I anxious to dig into this. Am I anxious to dig into this. Okay, let's make our way over and let's go do the taste test because that looks so amazing to me. I can't wait to get in. Yes, folks, this is what it's all about right here. My Italian style fish. Oh my goodness. Okay. My favorite part. I'm gonna get a nice. Oh, I got a nice thick piece right there. Really nice thick piece. Get a little bit of that olive oil. That's what I want right there. Oh yeah. That olive oil, folks, is full of flavor. Intense flavor. Oh, yes. Okay. And it just flakes. It just flakes right off. I'm gonna grab an olive with that. Oh, it's, it's just flaking apart here. Just beautiful, beautiful. 
flaky, nice flaky fish right there, folks. Very, very nice. <laughs> okay. That is beyond very nice. You really, really have to give this recipe a try. Oh my goodness. It is so good. And you get those nice ingredients mixed in with the fish. Mmm. Nothing short of outstanding. Seriously. Oh my goodness. As I said, folks, I absolutely love sharing my recipes with you. And I enjoy it when you make them, and this is one that you have to make. The next time you have fish on the menu, give this recipe a try. 30 minutes, start to finish, you've got a fantastic meal right there. With a little bit of wine, you can't go wrong. Folks, wherever you're tuning in from, I want to thank you for spending time in the kitchen with me, and I hope you spend some time and do a little bit of cooking, because the kitchen is where the heart is, folks, and that's what it's all about. Until next time, bon appetito and salute. Oh yeah, I'm going to enjoy tonight's meal. That goes without saying. So much flavor. Mm.